up. It is the end of the day and I'm actually going over to Costco and Kroger for grocery day. You all seem to enjoy my my grocery hauls and you know I go there on a weekly basis to do my shopping so I love sharing that with you. Before I left to come out I applied that <clears throat> color science tinted uh, color shield. All right I am actually really enjoying that sunscreen a lot as I talked about um, in video earlier this week and you guys saw how it went on in that video as far as expensive <laughs> tinted sunscreens go I'm gonna compare it to the Murad one and the Murad one and and the color science one they look and feel very very similar the Murad one has a strange odor to it I don't know if you guys have noticed that before that use it the Murad one smells almost like that new toy smell from the 80s. You guys know what I'm talking about? That kind of plasticky smell. That's what the Murad one smells like. But I like both of them a lot. I mean, they're really expensive. You do not need an expensive sunscreen like that at all. You can find affordable tinted sunscreens out there. You do not need to spend that kind of money. But for those of you who that's in your budget, that's what you, you like, I'm just going to compare the two. I would say that the Murad one, like I said, has that little plasticky kind of smell to it, but the Murad and Color Science, unlike many sunscreens out there, make, um, make a statement on their label about the PA, the PA rating, which is used in Japan to kind of score the UVA protection. The Color Science one gets a PA 3 plus and the Murad one gets a PA 4 plus. And I'm not sure what their metrics are for determining that. You know, in Japan, they do um, positive um, persistent pigment darkening um, as, a, as a test for that. And then they, they do the, the PPD testing and then and then they they kind of rate it rate it and come up with the PA rating system based on how it performs in that. But these US brands, I don't know how they're doing that. You know, they're doing the Japanese methods. So I'm not really sure A how how Murad does it or B how Color Science does it. If they they just do the the Japanese way and uh, you know follow their, their their standards or what you know in the United States sunscreens aren't required to disclose that um, and aren't required to you know report that on their labeling we have kind of a cheapy pass fail UVA metric here for just general purposes of, of labeling you know just have to say broad spectrum SPF you know has the SPF is, it reflects the the UVB protection you know whether how good it's going to be at protecting you from a burn but you know, a sunscreen can can be variable as far as its UVA coverage, and I really never can say objectively who's better. Um, they don't report things like PA on, on the sunscreen, so I'm not entirely sure <laughs> ever how to compare um, different sunscreens for their UVA coverage. But suffice it to say, I do really like the Color Science one a lot, and uh, will continue to use it. It goes on really well, not greasy, not shiny. Murad is similar, just has that plasticky odor um, to it. But anyways, what else? Oh, I um, started using my chopsticks that I got at H Mart, my kitty, kitty training wheel chopsticks. They are so cute. And you may have noticed, you probably have already commented at this point, you may have noticed uh, that I got the left hand side, the left hand uh, chopsticks. I did that on purpose, actually. I like to... Um, Use, I'm right-handed, and I like to occasionally use my non-dominant hand for um, tasks of daily living, just to um, exercise my brain a little bit and my hand-eye coordination and keep my non-dominant hand active. <laughs> also, my non, it also keeps your non-dominant side active. I tend to, because I'm right-handed and right-side dominant, even my vision on my right side is better, like my, my prescription in my left eye is actually has to be stronger than my right my left eye is, is weaker and so I kind of like to do things to to push myself out of my comfort zone and eating with chopsticks with your left hand is definitely one of them so I did that on purpose but it's actually easier than I thought it was gonna be maybe because of those training wheels 
little loopy doodles on there. Uh, but yeah, I like to do it that, I like to do that to just kind of train my brain. Plus, you never know, God forbid, God willing, if something could happen to you, you know, people oftentimes can be in terrible accidents or suffer a stroke and lose function of their dominant side, whether that be, you know, their entire side or just their hand, you know, you never know what can happen. And so having Having the the other side, uh, you know, training it on the in the off season can be uh, can be helpful. Plus, it's it's good for your brain to to do that. So, yeah, that was on purpose. <laughs> but you definitely need Classy Pal when you're training with that. Classy Pal is yes, my adult bib. Um, you know, the first couple of bites of my cucumber salad, I think I threw the cucumber all over the floor. So, Classy Pal was actually able to to capture some of that fallout. But it is a beautiful day. The UV index today is like, I think I checked right before I left and it was, I want to say 10, but it feels like I'm 11. It is bright out there. What's your UV index? Comment below. Some of you guys are surprised by how, how bright it is when you check. You're like, oh my gosh, I never would have guessed that it's that potent. Yes, you still need to be wearing sunscreen if your UV index is one or, or low. It doesn't get you out of wearing sunscreen. It just, it just serves to terrify you. <laughs> just saw a viewer. She says she's wearing sunscreen. But anyways, I just wanted to point out the fact that this insect repellent is not going to keep you safe from mosquitoes. It doesn't have anything in it that has been shown to be effective in, um, in repelling mosquitoes. It just has citronella oil, which is fine for a candle, lemongrass, and cedar oil. It does not have the um, lemon eucalyptus, which is, the, which is sort of the natural ingredient that would be effective. Um, so I disagree with these statements. They're not going to keep you keep you and your kids safe. So I would not choose this. And it also says that this is air travel approved. Yeah, right. To try and put this biggie thing on a plane. I suppose they need these little bottles. It's just incredibly misleading. This is not this is not a good choice. Even though it's organic, it's not going to keep you safe from Zika. So you guys always are wondering about recommendations for a laundry detergent. I like the either Tide Free and Clear or All Free and Clear as well. Um, is a good one. You get it 15 bucks here at, at good old Costco for 158 loads. My goodness. That'll make your back hurt. <laughs> but yeah, that Dreft laundry detergent, while it smells nice, it's really not gentle. It's one of those like Dove or those. Like, oh, this is gentle, but anyway, it's just slippery fragrance. Hey, I saw this in a woman's cart and I went out of my way to locate it. I'm very disappointed though because these are fried in oil. But look how good they look. They've got, it's rare to find a green radish in a veggie crisp. Veggie crisps. DJ and A. Low temperature cooked. See, I would eat this entire bag. No, no joke. It is uh, from Australia apparently. Veggie crisps. So I'm over here in Kroger and apparently they've jumped on the boho bandwagon. <laughs> Move over anthropology. These are actually kind of cute. The little roses. I don't know how I feel about that. A wild one. It's kind of cute, I guess. That's a bit excessive though. A wolf with a flower crown. Lollapalooza. <laughs> <laughs> on a spatula. On a heck of a brownie. This cactus stuff, though. This cactus stuff is kind of cute. Little utensil tray. Oh, they have a, cup, a sippy cup. Ever since my mermaid sippy cup shattered, I've really been without a cute one. I love my Bubba and Babs one, but this one's really pretty. I don't need that, though. It's kind of like a swell bottle knockoff. Mana. I'm gonna have a glass one here. Are ashtrays still a thing? Boo. Oh gosh, speaking of still a thing, is Keurig still a thing? Detest the Keurig. I've never had a, a cup of Keurig coffee that tasted like anything other than dirt. 
Look, my favorite Asian gum brand, Lotte. Lo Lotte. I've already, I've already forgot how to pronounce it. I apologize. You guys helped me earlier. Um, appears they have sodas. <laughs> Milkies. New hot six. Is that like five hour energy? New dried mango. I wonder if this has added sugar. Oh, dang, it does. All right, so from Costco this week, I got a large bag of the clementine oranges. I like to have one of these before I go to the gym, <laughs> sort of as a citrus boost pre-workout, if you will. <laughs> I also got a bag of organic cauliflower rice as per usual. You never deviate from that. Then I also got some of the organic unsweetened almond milk uh, that has B12 in it, so enjoy that. Some more bananas, they're nice and green, so. They will come to ripening all at once and then be chopped into thirds and placed in the freezer. And then I didn't get the large bag of spinach. I got the Josie's Organic Baby Spinach in the box this time. Uh, just wanted to try it again. I had this once last year, I think it was, I got it. And it wasn't that great, but it looks a little better than it did last year. So I'm gonna give it another try just because um, I've been enjoying the cucumber salads and not having spinach salads as much, but uh, still miss my spinach, so. Got the smaller box of that. Then from Kroger, these radishes looked good. I enjoy radishes, so I got this bag. I got a few more cucumbers. Oh dear, a little fruit fly is buzzing around in here. Please don't, please don't get too comfortable. They are so pesty. Um, and I got a bag of carrots. I got some more Napa cabbage. I've really been loving this stuff with the chili garlic sauce um, in the Kosari. It just kind of makes it taste like, like a quick and easy kimchi <laughs> uh, to put that in some apple cider vinegar. I also got some Chinese pears. I was surprised that these were actually cheaper at Kroger than they were at H Mart. And then I got a large onion. I also got some broccoli heads. I love broccoli I, and I'll eat it anyway. I can get it, it's so good. And then these are still on Ibotta, the Rhythm Superfoods Beet Chips. So I definitely got another bag of those. I really enjoy these a lot. This and the cucumbers and I think the, maybe the carrots and the onion all were 20, all of those things were 25 cents cash back. And this I think was 50 cents cash back. Then I also got, by, because of Ibotta, you guys know I love Tic Tacs, and I saw they came out with Tic Tac gum, and I love watermelon anything. Um, so I got this to try, it's just sugar-free gum. I try to not chew too much gum, I used to be a gum, gum addict, but doing making YouTube videos really makes you hyper aware of how visibly annoying that is. I never appreciated it until I started editing videos of myself with chewing gum in my mouth and now I'm just like, oh, get this out of my mouth, it looks horrible. <laughs> then I've really been enjoying the um, uh, berry lemonade flavor of the True, True Lemon uh, flavor mixes, so I had to give this a try, the Watermelon Agua Fresca. I've never tried this one before. I think these are really good. They're really um, potent too. I find that one, one of these little packets in 32 ounces of water, um, uh, infuses the water with enough flavor that you're good to go. I, I would say it tells you to put it in 16 ounces. I think that would be too too intense. 32 ounces is, is much more tolerable. It's still really, really um, a strong taste in 32 ounces, in my opinion. Then I got some more dental floss. <laughs> this looked good, mint floss with cinnamon. Mm, and it's pink, yep. Went for the packaging. Thanks, Listerine. If you hadn't put that pink strip on there, I probably would have just ignored it. <laughs> and then Kroger did not get the memo that I need my uh, Taster's Choice decaf sticks for the afternoon time. When I uh, want another cup of coffee, I allow myself the Taster's Choice. And so I got these Folgers ones. I'm not too optimistic that they're gonna be very good though, but we'll give them a try. They're 99 cents. And I know that it's definitely cheaper and a better deal to just get the large jar, in which case I could get the Taster's Choice decaf, but in my case, I would just drink more of it. And these little packets are handy to take with me on the go versus that whole big jar. So I went ahead and got these. So we'll give them a try and see how they do. But yeah, that's everything that I got this week from Kroger and, and Costco. So I'm gonna put all this away and head to the gym.
Well, hey guys, what's up? I just finished up at the gym and as per usual, showered up. Um, I wanted to come back to, of course, sunscreen and I just want to talk a little bit about, about the mineral execs <laughs> in terms of sunscreens, meaning mineral exclusive sunscreens. I think for those of you seeking a, an exclusively mineral sunscreen, meaning only zinc and or titanium dioxide as your UV coverage, uh, no chemical filters. I think you really have a battle between uh, a few factors, you know, price, uh, you know, the more aesthetically appealing the, the mineral exec gets, the, the, a lot of times the pricier the product gets, uh, unfortunately. You have that to balance, you have the white cast to balance, how happy you're gonna be with that, what you're gonna do with that. A lot of times people just don't like the feel of the mineral execs on their skin. It can be drying, particularly if the zinc is a larger size particle. Um, it could just be a little drying and people don't care for that. So, you know, there again, the aesthetics of how the sunscreen is formulated, the vehicle, how moisturizing it is to kind of counterbalance that, that really, that really is another thing that you have to factor in as far as if you're going to be able to, to hack it or to like it. You may like the drying property of it because you're greasy and shiny and it may suit you, okay? Um, but you may need a, a little bit more moisturizing of, of a vehicle. Um, and then you always have the option to select a mineral exec that has tint in it or a universal tint that can kind of mask some of that white whiteness um, but again that that starts to up the price a little bit earlier this week I posted a video on some of my favorite um, mineral exec <laughs> tinted sunscreens that have that sort of universal tint I have to say as far as a vehicle um, winning the game in the drugstore at least is Cetaphil's daily facial moisturizing sunscreen broad spectrum I wish it were a higher SPF particularly if this is the only particularly if you're putting this all over your face ears neck I mean you really really have to do diligence on your application to to get yourself to that 20 um, but this is this is not a bad bad one as I said in that video, however, price point wise, in my opinion, it's really not that much uh, more affordable than, than UV Physical, L to MD UV Physical Broad Spectrum SPF 41. These two, um, you know, are comparable in price, but I think the tint, to me, the tint in L to MDs is a lot more universal. Now, if you're somebody who likes the drying, uh, you know, likes a little bit more matte of a sunscreen, not necessarily drying, but, um, you know, you like a little bit, you don't want that, that moisturizing vehicle. I've really been enjoying the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield, although admittedly this bad boy is is pretty pricey, but they really did a nice job with this, I would say. I mean, it just goes on really, really well. Um, it goes on better, in my opinion, than the Clinique one uh, that also has a little bit of tint. I talked about it in my liquid sunscreens. Um, I just think that this one... They, they really nailed the formula on this, in my opinion. I think the tint is, is perfect. It just blends into the skin as though it were sheer and does a really good job. Similar to the way Elta does theirs, but the vehicles are slightly different. One is more moisturizing than the other. Um, if you're somebody, again, who is fond of the drying, okay with the drying property. You know, Neutrogena is pure and free liquid. This, these are, we're getting outside of the realm of tint. Neutrogena pure and free liquid, this is a drugstore love, does a great job with their mineral exec in this product, as well as their, the Healthy Defense one that I was talking about earlier this week. This one is going to be a little bit more drying. The Healthy Defense one, a little bit more shiny, okay? So, know that as far as factoring in your vehicle. The, the more liquidy, the more, you know, runny the vehicle, the less moisturizing it's going to be. And you may like that, particularly in the summer when you're greasy and shiny. Um, but, you know, another one, in a, in a pretty uh, moisturizing vehicle that is comparable and is a mineral exec is uh, the Elta MD UV Pure Broad Spectrum 47. This is a non, um, this is a mineral exec, um, non-tinted sunscreen by Elta that is fantastic. But as far as cast, cast member, <laughs> as far as the cast, uh, cast and crew here, to me they're identical. To me they are the same, the same kind of cast. This one's a little bit more moisturizing than this one. Um, and you know, if you have really, really sensitive skin, some people just, however Neutrogena or sometimes, you know, whatever, 
formulated in such a way where you're like, oh God, you know, I can't explain it. You're like, whenever I use this sunscreen, it bothers me. Give this one a try. Um, you know, Elta does a phenomenal job with making really, really sensitive skin friendly products. Not that the Neutrogena one isn't sensitive skin friendly, but you know, Elta, Elta does a really good job. I just don't get a lot of complaints on the, from, from Elta sunscreens. I would say they are, they're the ones that people, at least in the comments, seem the happiest with overall. So this one, the um, UV Pure is going to give you a little bit of a cast, going to be more moisturizing, but really feels good. And I don't find this one to be drying at all. Their um, UV um, Physical Broad Spectrum SPF 41, the tinted one that I talked about earlier, is a mineral exec with a nice universal tint that feels phenomenal. And, you know, I, I've been using this one the longest of of all the Elta sunscreens. The um, UV Clear that I, I also use and, and really enjoy, that's a combination sunscreen. So if you're sensitive to octinoxate, I believe that one has octinoxate in it. So, you know, if you're seeking a mineral exec, UV Clear is not a mineral exec. Now, the Aven one that I mentioned also in that video is, is very good. My mom really likes it a lot. I, if you're somebody who likes more of a matte um, sunscreen, less oiliness, less, less shiny, almost that kind of powderiness, um, you, will, you will enjoy that one. That one to me goes on very similar to the popular Australian Gold Botanical one that is very affordable. Um, so if you are like me and you had a bad reaction to the Australian Gold Botanical, for me, I, I attribute it perhaps to maybe the eucalyptus or the plum fruit extract in that. If that irritated you or bothered you, but you liked the way it went on and you liked the way it looked going on and you were really happy with it, like, like first impression, you're like, wow, this is awesome. Um, consider the Aven one because, I, I, you know, some of you who love Australian Gold and have tried Aven, correct me if I'm wrong, but to me... They, 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 um, they speak to the same audience as far as the aesthetics, although the event one is, is crazy expensive. Um, but yeah, I hope this uh, vlog was fun for you all. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.